Hey, oh. Hi. Wait. Hi. What? Ooh, you sound so good. <gasps> I know. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. The- <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was short lived. That was short lived. What's up? Oh, the most embarrassing thing just happened. What happened? So, <laughs> so Emma, well, okay. So her little boyfriend um, wanted I like, to. I like how you demean him immediately. And you're like, the it, little boyfriend. Yeah. Did, well, how do I sound now? Good. Good. Okay. I can hear the mic rub on your jacket. Oh, why'd you go into the other room? So that we can't be heard on each other's mics. Oh, then I'm going to go to the couch. That's why I said is that you should go to the couch. Well, I was reading a work thing. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Cannot multitask, Kelsey. <laughs> she can't do it. All right. Anyway, no. Emma's little boyfriend. Yes. So Emma's what? Little... Yeah. So Emma's little boyfriend um, wanted to be friends with her on Xbox. Does and... he like podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I asked. I asked the exact same thing. Yeah, and I said no because she's not allowed to listen, so neither is he because the last thing I need is for him to start asking her about butt play. (laughs) Oh, that is bullshit. (laughs) So he wanted to friend her on Xbox, and so um, she had things to do tonight. So um, I was like, well, let me see if I can add him for you. So she sent me his screen name, (laughs) and I, (laughs) I... downloaded the app on my phone it's fart liquor 69 (laughs) no (laughs) no it's pretty innocent actually but um so she sent me his screen name and i go on the app and i go to add him and he had already requested to add her over a month ago (laughs) so i was like oh okay well i guess i'll just accept it so i accepted it but he was online when i did it yes So then he like immediately wrote me and was all hi. And I'm like, oh God. Hey girl, how you doing? Boo? <laughs> You're like, this is her mom. This is her mom. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is so awkward. So I just like logged off. Did your ratchet <laughs> mom finally let you get the Xbox going? Damn. <laughs> Wait a second. This boy doesn't play PlayStation. He's on Xbox. I immediately I cannot condone this relationship. Well, my kids are on Xbox too, so I can't condone your kids. <laughs> Give I, them up. I, it's so funny. Surrender so, them to social services, please. So my kid was sleeping when this all went down. So I went in there and I woke her up and I was like, he's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you need some, like, guidance in the area of young boys, I can be a wealth of knowledge for you. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. (laughs) (laughs) But but for now, I'm just mortified. I'm like, he tried to talk to me, and I just logged out. She's all, so he said hi, and you just went offline? (laughs) And I was like, yes. I didn't want to be that creep that, like, pretends to be my kid, but I also didn't want to embarrass you by being like, this is her mom. You know? (laughs) Instead, he thinks Emma just ghosted him. Yeah, it's so much better. It's way better. Good thinking. Like at least you didn't panic in a stressful in a stressful situation. You know, you like held your cool. So we saw a picture of him today too for the first time, and I showed it to my husband, and he goes, "Oh, he looks cute." And then he's all, "Oh, I mean, he better watch himself." Right in front of her. <laughs> Like, I mean, wait. no offense to John, but I saw the picture of that kid, and I think that kid might have a good chance against your husband. Oh, now. <laughs> Sorry, but so. that kid looks like he does some cardio. He's adorable. I'm like, he is really cute. And he's wearing an Animal Crossing sweatshirt, which is just so adorable. <laughs> That's precious. I it mean, is. I immediately just want to offer up some of the 8750 skeet rags to this boy and not an Animal Crossing hoodie, Ooh. but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> no, they're too little. Is he too actually, little. like, are they actually, like, going out? Like, well, in, in middle school terms, which means, like, one friend asked that, for, asked the, another friend of theirs, and then that's what... <laughs> I mean, he actually asked her to a dance like face to face whoa he didn't he didn't send a friend and then when i'm she said, surprised i know and then when she said yes he was like yes <laughs> so he got all excited okay ladies who cares we're at minute 10 of our boba fett review 
no minute five and it was adorable <laughs> it's so. just, oh you're right oh oh i get it the top thing was telling me what time it is it's 905 <laughs> so gotcha. am i not allowed to look at my notes does it let no, me you out? can it's on iphone it'll let you oh yeah it will Bitches. Notice how Mrs. Yeti was able to join this recording, no fucking issues whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. Well, she did log off like immediately after joining, but Oh yeah, that's true. What was that about? Mrs. Yeti. Okay, Kelsey. She gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. She just logged off again. <sighs> all right it's probably because you said it was it's no beca- issue. yeah it's because i was just about to be like why can't these other hooligans figure this out man it's apparently pretty easy but yep. uh yeah <laughs> you just stuck your foot in your mouth on that one sure did so want to <laughs> tell me some middle school stories about dating or what no it was just really funny because it just happened like huh. and i was i was like oh god what do i do <laughs> So then you went in and hey, woke her up. Hey, you yep. nutsacks. I could hear you the whole time. So fuck yeah. you. <laughs> you said, <laughs> I could go look at my notes. I went to go look at my notes. And then you guys were like, oh, we lost her. And I was like, hello, 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 hello. And then you were like, yep, go fucking figure. She can't figure it out. <laughs> Fuck you both. I followed what your guidance. That I could go look at my notes and then it stopped. I could still hear you guys. I came back to it, but it said are, it, 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 you couldn't are hear you me. on the app. I just clicked on the link from the chat. Oh, that's where you went wrong. You can't yeah. just click on the link because it'll take you to the web browser and that you can't click off of. But oh. if you open the app first, and then copy and paste the link to like your notes and then click on it, it'll open in the app and then you can go to your notes. (laughs) I didn't know it was that complex. (laughs) There she goes. (laughs) She's going to give it a try. (laughs) Well, is it snowing down there? It is. It's snowing a lot. Actually, the schools just notified us that they're on a two hour delay tomorrow. A two hour delay. Because of all the ice on the roads. Wow. Yeah, it's snowing like crazy here. Mm-hmm. Here too. I went to go get some food from the local cantina and I was listening to Roland by Limp Biscuit the entire time because Kayla is the first proud owner of the 8750 bucket hat. <laughs> and that bucket hat <laughs> reminds me of Fred Durst. I know Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit usually wears like a red baseball hat backwards, but I swear at some point I've seen him in a fuzzy bucket hat. Yeah, you have. Yeah, I, right. That's how I imagine him too. Is wearing that bucket hat every time. Fuzzy he comes bucket up. hat. Yeah. So today, this order came in from Kayla. One bucket hat, one pair of sweatpants. <laughs> nice. So she's just gonna be rocking the town in a bucket hat and sweatpants. If she just would have ordered a tank top to go with all of that, uh, she'd have the whole set. Yeah. <laughs> and then she can ride her ATV barefoot with that ensemble on. Just listen to like step in and step out. Hands up the hands down. <laughs> back up, back up. <laughs> I couldn't figure fun, out man. how to get to work in the app. <laughs> uh, so you oh, copy no. the link that I sent to your notes and then tap on it from your notes. Oh yep. from the notes. I get yep. it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Are you gonna try it again? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this does keep in line with our usual reviews, because if you remember the Loki reviews, it would just be me and Reed talking about what just happened on the 8750 episode before we talked about Loki at all. Oh, that's true. Uh-huh. Did it work? Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Now, now try to go back to your notes and see what happens. I, I'm in my notes. We can hear you. Yay! Can you hear me now? All you got to do is hold that microphone in your hand so it's not scraping on your jacket and you're good. You like this? <laughs> yep. Just yep, like that, that. That's the noise. <laughs> just, just hold it in your hand. So good. <laughs> I love that attitude, though. Like, not my fucking podcast. What do I care? I was being funny. Oh, it was funny. <laughs> you know what it is, Kelsey? 
What? It's it's because of his autism that he can't handle the noise. <laughs> oh, totally. For sure. A hundred percent. Okay. Well, any fun. any okay. little sound and he goes nuts. Yeah. Like my my ceiling fan will be on and he's like, what the fuck is that? And yeah. Turn that shit off. <laughs> Kelsey, <laughs> the, your recording is then heard by like several hundred people and it's obnoxious. And so shut it down. Them, none of them hear it except for you. Oh, do you think that they would reach out to you to let you know that that was pissing them off? Or do you think I'm the one who hears about it? Well, you would be the one that hears about it, but I guarantee you nobody has fucking written you about my goddamn ceiling fan. No, not yet. Yep. <laughs> so. Still waiting on that. <laughs> Way to call him out. <laughs> Here comes Cody coming in hot. He's probably going to send you a PM about it. <laughs> You'll send me a whole voicemail about like that ceiling fan. You know, I almost crashed my tractor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Book of Boba Fett episode Dwa. Yeah. What'd you Dwa? Think? Yeah, dude. It was like a twa and yeah. a duh together. Yeah, dude. So first things first, we see Fennec walking the prisoner back to like Boba, who's already like hanging out in the throne. Like, how did he get home first? That's my first question. Yeah, did he she was have... injured. Yeah, and they were together. Unless that hardcore parkour scene was like way longer than what they showed us. And so Boba's just sitting there in the town square. He gets bored <laughs> while they're jumping around from building to building. <laughs> he's, he's like, fuck it, I'll head home. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. He, well, because he told her he was like Fennec, alive. <clears throat> and right. then he's like, and I'm going home. He's like, get me to the tank. <laughs> so sleepy. I'll see you guys later. Get yeah. me to my hey, diaper bye. tank. <laughs> my diaper tank. <laughs> um. So, yeah. So then they... Or like, oh, we're interrogating you, guy. And he's like, yeah, guy, I don't even care. And then it's like, well, if you're not going to talk, I guess you don't need your head. And then Grimorian Guard's like, I'm going to cut that head off, bitch. But then, and then instead, they don't. <laughs> instead of cutting that head off, they're like, I know. Let's tell the enemy everything that we know about their organization, where they're at. <laughs> let's let them know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead, like, there, there could have been better ways to have explained that it, instead of, like, I guess you don't need your head, psych. <laughs> yeah, and then the droid is the one that gives them all the info. Yeah. I know, right? I know, so weird. they didn't even need that guy anyway. The droid, I figured out, is uh, voiced by Matt... Oh, Matt Berry. That's, I think that's his name. He's from the Toast of London and the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> hmm. I like him. The Toast of London is a funny show. You might enjoy it. I've never seen it. Never heard of it. Tis on Netflix. Oh, Jeff yeah. likes it. I do. <laughs> Mrs. Yeti, she does not. No. No. Yeah. Did you yeah. guys have anything to say about that? Nope. No. <laughs> no, not the Toast of London. The interaction between him and the captured guy. Oh. Just... You guys at the same time went, no. <laughs> well... Just it was just really weird. Like I feel like you if you wanted to explain that these were hired assassins who apparently are so ready to die and not spill the beans until they get tossed in a pit and then the yeah. gates wide open, like unless that was all part of the plan. I don't that was fucking weird. So like you could have just gone through it a lot better of, like, they could have, like, maybe Fennec could have been trying to interrogate him and get words out of him. And he could have been like, no, these are the assassins, the da-da-da, who I will never, never who will I never, see. like, speak, right? And, like, you could have explained that better than just, like, no, I guess you don't need your head, psych. <laughs> what do we who know about these do people? do you work for? I spit on you. I will never tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you work for? I would rather die than tell you anything. And what's funny is that he like said two words in some like foreign language. So you don't actually know what he says. He's just like. Eh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then Boba Fett's like, how dare you curse me? And oh, then he, the words he said, I remember from Return of the Jedi, like Hafo, Tuna. For some reason, I remember 
Boba or not Boba Fett. I remember Jabba saying that to like Luke Skywalker. I'm pretty sure. So I think that that's why that happened. It was a callback. Oh. oh. And then they <laughs> drop him in a pit that's empty. Yeah, yeah with the how rancor. You, how have you not replaced your rancor? I bet you they're like 79 cents at the pet shop. Like, go buy another one, man. And what happened to the first one? Oh, Luke what? killed it. Luke killed are you killing? Are you kidding? Me? Oh, I haven't seen him for a while, so sorry, Kelsey. Okay, it's a pretty big. Even if you haven't part. like seen it for a while, that was huge. Oh, okay. like, like jumps that away left from a it. Lasting impression on a young on a yeah. young Mrs. Yeti's mind. Oh, the gate like closed on its head and killed it, and then it's like Reincore Keeper guy was like, <laughs> and he was like crying like, hysterically. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. It's been a while. <laughs> Jeez. This, see, this is this is why you come to 8750 for all your reviews. <laughs> Fucking magical. We're gonna okay. get so much hate mail from like the really die horse. Oh like no Here's, Here's the thing. The... Yeah. Do you yes. want me to tell it? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I, I love listening to Mahler take apart like the Star Wars stuff. So he was on Friday Night Tights on Friday and they were going through Boba Fett and they called out all the same shit that we did. Like, why is there a stormtrooper in the belly? Like, why is a Jawa able to knock him out and just like take his armor and like leave? How the fuck did he get out of that pit, dude? He just like punched and used a flamethrower. Like, why didn't he use his jetpack when all those guys are surrounding him with shields? Uh, jetpack? Like, why is your helmet off? Uh, anyway, most of our complaints he nailed. So it was like, ha. Yeah. Yeah. So, so fuck all those haters. <laughs> yeah. We the know what hater, we're talking about. <laughs> the one hater that we got that only had 24 followers. Yeah, dude. I think it's crazy. That tweet that I put out last week got seen 675,000 times. The clips got heard 7,000 times. And we, what, all, did we pick up new fans? No. We picked up four haters. Oh, I missed the other three. Damn it. Yeah, you they don't weren't have it. haters. You're not doing something. You're That's doing right. something wrong. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the other haters weren't as intense as the one with 24. Oh, now 23 followers. He lost one. Yeah, he did lose one. It's for being a dick. It's for being a dick. All right, guys. You guys are both boring as shit. Come on. Where's the energy? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tired. Okay, so- next. The what? whole encounter then at the, like, mayor's place. Like, mm-hmm. I was happy that he just, like, bypassed the people and was like, I'm going to go straight through. But I feel like he could have, when the guy was like, hmm, you're not at the schedule, he should have, like, punched or, like, shot that schedule and be like, now are we on the schedule? Or something yeah. like that instead of just, like, I'm just going to wait out here for a while. He but suffered that fool far too long. My favorite part of that scene was that the dude with the schedule had a mullet and a stash. <laughs> <laughs> that is rad. That is pretty rad. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Me that either. is rad. <laughs> so the next thing I noticed, and this goes out to Cody, who I'm sure is hate listening to this. Cody, on Boba Fett's chest, he's got, like, a little symbol that's got, like, a dash that's got little... It looks like a leaf kind of laid over. And then underneath that is, like, the Fender F. Like, Fender Guitars F on there. The fuck is that about? Hmm. Yeah, so let me know, Codes. Hmm. hmm. Yes. I didn't notice that. Yeah. So, you, what's your next note? My next note... Well, it's mainly when the huts show up. Okay. I don't My know next note is before that. So th- did you see that the little robots dealing the cards inside of the casino? That's the robot that was in Star Tours. And if you go to the like Uga's ca- No, what was it called? What was it called? I think Olga's Cantina. Olga's Cantina in Disneyland or Disney World. That same robot got repurposed to be the DJ there. So it's kind of cool. I like Ooh, ta- the, um... Ooh, <laughs> exactly. He's like singing the whole time. It's funny. I like that the little blue elephant re reappeared. Yeah, yeah. it was the yeah. same band except for it looked like they added a little drummer. Yeah. The music yeah. was worse this time, but it wasn't bad. But it just it felt awkward. It didn't it... feel like regular Star Wars music, you know. You know what else? It's like we just skipped over like 
a lot of what the mayor said. Do you think <laughs> that scene was even necessary? Because I don't really feel like it was. Like, they could have just clipped that all out. I forgot what he even said. He said, look out for somebody, right? I think casino, so, bitch. So he was saying that... Um, so he was saying that they should go to the club, but he was saying that he has no motive. So he's not the guy that sent the assassins. He's like, it wasn't me because I have no motive. But if you're going to threaten me and burr, 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 then you should know that running a family is more complicated than bounty hunting. And oh, right, right, right. And then, and then you Boba's should go to like, the club. I'm not a bounty hunter. Uh, He said that, I think, to the huts. Oh, OK. But, like, the whole scene with the mayor was kind of like, meh, meh. So, then... Yeah, I mean, the the only thing it told us was that maybe the mayor didn't do it, but also, why was there the whole thing of the mayor not paying tribute? And then why did the assassin guy say it was the mayor? Yeah, and then the assassin guy got shot and killed by the mayor's dude because right. he was outside of their jurisdiction, which is fucking Odd. weird. Yeah. So I, I'm hoping that as the series goes on, there will be answers to what just happened there. But we should think about it when we get to the final episode and be like, yeah, wait, did that ever get explained? Why he, the assassin, shouted out that the mayor did it other than just to send Boba over there instead? And yeah. also why the mayor said running a family is harder than bounty hunting. I'm guessing because the huts are a family. Yeah, because like, like, the twins are cousins to Jabba. Could be. So then Boba Fett's got his helmet off again as he goes to the casino, which like, dude, why are you always taking your helmet off? Because he, he wants to get with that chick. He uh, wants to be casino. seen. Probably. <laughs> but then we hear a, a little rum tum tum, a little drummy drum drum, and outside comes two fat ass slugs all coiled around each other, getting marched in by like... Well, we I don't know. In Star Wars, they're not allowed to be slaves anymore, so I don't know. Indentured servants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, so they get wheeled in it's pretty funny if you watch one of them in the front he like stumbles under the weight when they're standing there for a while talking yeah and their little platform like dips in in the middle because they're so <laughs> yeah, <fat>. it <laughs> yeah it's so funny like that's pretty funny we meet uh rad chewbacca yeah the bigger batter chewy yeah he was scary yeah. Oh, yeah. You have but a fear of furry cuddly. things in masks. Oh, yeah, I do. Right. I was like, oh, he's creepy. Oh my god. How is? How are you able to even watch Star Wars, Kelsey? I don't know. <laughs> Those are everywhere. That's true. It's <laughs> just like tons of things in masks. And you know, it, it's like I guess it's because I feel like they're aliens. But when I got to the chewy part, I was like, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> He has, like, really piercing eyes, too. They're, like, green, and his body's, like, black and gray. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is creepy. <laughs> and instead of being just, like, a furball, he's, like, a jacked furball. Yeah. And he looks scary as hell. I was like, no. No, thank so, you. So, after that confrontation. Boba Fett's gonna fight him. Oh, for sure. That's gonna have to be a boss level. Yeah, because then... well, because he told the twins he was like, "You're gonna have to kill me for this territory, bitches," and then they were all like, "Sleep with one eye open, bitch," and then yeah. they like, you know, and then the two largest targets you could ever ask for walked away, right <laughs> on their because <laughs> I, I was like, why wouldn't he just disintegrate both of their bitch asses right then and there? And then Fennec said something like, "You'll have to ask for permission to kill them." It's like yes. to to who? Yeah, I had that question too. I was like, well, who do they need permission from and why? Yeah. Why do they yeah. need permission to kill Hut? And how understand. how do you go about requesting that permit? Is it like <laughs> you have to go fill out paperwork? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's all this red tape you have to go through. Like it's Boba Fett with his reader glasses on, just sitting there. Like it's going... weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks. Of just waiting for government paperwork to go like, through. And what did these huts do to you? And why do they deserve to die? They insulted are my you, honor. Are you sure that you're going to kill them with something that you know will kill them? Probably. Otherwise, I cannot approve this permit. And this will it has kill anyone to... else in the general vicinity? <laughs> exactly. My aim is pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. And so huts can... Like they can move, right? Yeah. They don't. They don't require a forklift to be transported. 
they can move. I remember in episode one, Jabba like slithers up to the like balcony to talk about pod raising. And be like, oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, I have not seen them go distances. Oh no, because like if you scene... just like like kneecapped all of their people carrying them, what would happen? In a deleted scene from a uh, New Hope, he slithers around underneath the Millennium Falcon, talking to yeah. Han Solo. I remember that part. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, but so if it, okay. But if they were, like, in the middle of the desert, like, going from, like, castle to town, and you just, <laughs> like, wiped out the people carrying them, would they yeah. just roast in the sun and die? Yeah. Uh-huh. It'd be like if you threw salt on a snail. They, but they so would then roll you... around first, I feel like. <laughs> you wouldn't kill them then. You would just, you know, impair them. So what ability. are you implying? <laughs> I'm just saying, this feels like an easy problem to solve. <laughs> So march them out into the desert and then kill nine people. Well, and then hope the people don't figure out what you did. The nine people that are slaves. Yeah, that probably won't go over. They're too not good slaves. Enough. They're indentured servants. What, what if, if you... you just sprinkled salt on them? <laughs> like That's what if you just like threw salt at her and like, oopsie doopsie, I tripped and fell. <laughs> just salt the snail. Yeah. You have to smelt the salt and snail. No one That's wants right. to. And then the other people can live, and the two fat snails will just bubble and die. I thought that the two huts were fucking hilarious, though. Like two of them getting carted around was so funny. I hate them. They're so Why? gross. They're uh, so gross. <laughs> you're so prissy. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. Am. Oh my god, Jabba the Hut is gross. They are gross. They are and like <laughs> yeah like not bad squishy you know like yeah. there's no sustenance under that squish it's just like deflated flubber yeah it reminds me of watching um my 600 pound life oh <laughs> <laughs> that's the point they're supposed like to be that. chubby mob bosses man it's great yeah yeah i'll say this boba's armor was way too clean oh yeah distractingly clean and you guys both are like i didn't notice that but okay <laughs> i didn't but i super shiny and polished up not mm. shiny but it was just like no sand. well he's got he's got droids cleaning it up for him yeah that's right he has to get dressed by his droids yeah do you guys ever wonder why those indentured servants work for the huts like they're so fat they couldn't chase them down like if everyone just decided i'm not gonna work for your fat ass anymore like yeah, but that's like, the thing. Like, how did is the you huts get into power? Yeah. You can't get everybody at once to just say, like, no, 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 no. So what you got to worry about is not the hut killing you. The team of people working around and for him. Yeah, but why are all of them working around and for him? I don't that's know. I don't how understand. do cartels get to be so fucking big? How do, like, drug dealers and mob bosses get to It's out of fear and intimidation, of course. Did the huts used to be, like, these skinny warriors and then they just became mob bosses and like that's how they gained like you know skinny warriors <laughs> like they don't have feet <laughs> so i don't see them being but too they sneaky. like slither you know they could yeah. be like a snake that like wraps around people and kills them and then eventually they they like got so big for their britches that and they were getting so rich and successful and had people doing stuff for them that then they got fat and or you <laughs> just thought toxic. about this origin of the fets more than anybody at Lucasfilm. Do they have do they have toxic slime? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> like cuz that would be something. Like I haven't seen anybody touch them that I recall or lick them. Uh and Leia touched Jabba quite a bit. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was gross. Blah. He like, like I, I pulled her chain that this is up to him and then did that the whole world. like lick thing. Hey, Mrs. Yeti, like take turns. No. <laughs> I like when you, like when I keep talking, like that's your cue to stop. Right back at you. <laughs> Ooh. Except for I do I yield to you quite a bit. Like every I know. now and then repay I'm the courtesy. Bad at, I'm bad at talking over. I do it at work too. You just get so excited. I know. It's bad. 
I need a mute button to shut myself up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what's your next note? Uh. Mine is, I wonder if these are the same Tuscan Raiders that raped Anakin's mom. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. You guys don't remember that? Oh, yeah. Doodle-doo, doodle-doo, doodle-doo. Kelsey. Flashback. Yeah, it, okay, so I knew it was a flashback. I even made a special <laughs> note that said flashback via the healing tank. That's why via they showed the story him. storytelling device. <laughs> yeah. That's why they showed him in the tank. And he wasn't like, all right, that was fun talking to the huts. Now I'm going to strip down and go into the desert. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. I'll see you next episode. <laughs> like, I knew this time. I was on it. On it. <laughs> Okay, now it's a flashback. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like learning how to fight from the Tuscan Raiders because he fought like shit in the first episode. So yeah. it's like, good thing he's learning how to fight because he fucking sucks at it. And then what <laughs> happens next? <laughs> and then a train comes through and the people on the train start shooting all the Tuscan people and kill a bunch of them. Now and the then first... just like rolls off. Yeah, the first thing I thought was like, <laughs> oh, this is like the Old West. It's a train going through and like shooting at buffaloes like, you know, people used to do just yeah. as you're like rolling through Kansas. Oh, for just, sport. <laughs> yeah, just for fun. Just like, yeah, I'm just shooting out the windows at, you know, people, animals, whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm bored. Uh, and yeah. then I thought to myself, why the fuck are they taking a train in Star Wars? They have spaceships. What are they moving from point A to point B that couldn't be more swiftly moved via the air? But it was a hover train, so <laughs> I it know. was moving via the air. <laughs> <laughs> have it hover like an extra thousand feet higher, and then we have no issues. But then if they did that, they wouldn't be able to shoot all the Tuscan people. <laughs> you <laughs> know they, what I mean? <laughs> which I guess is just super fun. Yeah, and they even shot one of their buffaloes. I know. Those are banthas. Yeah, they shot one of those, and it was fucking sad. It was kind of sad. And then the next time the train comes by, another bantha goes down right away. Hide yeah. your banthas, guys. But then we saw that there's like a whole flock of banthas, so they've got plenty. It's uh, like their buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. Just eventually all their buffalo. So what if that one had a name? It was named Sven. <laughs> no. It was it was little Joey's favorite. Yeah. And they used to ride around together in the dunes. Not anymore. That's dinner tonight, bitch. <laughs> anyway, rah, just fell over. Yeah. I so, understand that at the end we under we learned kind of what this train is and why it's there and what its purpose is, but I was like, why do I care about this? It's like why why do they care about this? Like I get it, they're being shot at, but like why? Um, well, like maybe don't hang out next to where the train goes uh, it's just a thought mm -hmm. yeah although that's where they have to go dig for their little black melons also the thing that I noticed is like the dogs the dog lizard things are mm -hmm. like predators but their eyes are in the position that preys are like a horse where they can see on the side and the banfas seem a, lot, a whole lot like prey and their eyes are straightforward. <laughs> Like a predator. Yes. What it sense makes no sense. Make? Who thought of these animals? So Come then <laughs> he he's like, yo, I can stop this train. I'm going to need to go. I'm going to need a gun. I'm going to need a stick. And then I'm, I'll be back in the morning. And then he like he leaves. And let, lest we forget, he is held prisoner at the moment. And they're just like, okay, see you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. First, like Why send somebody return? with him. <laughs> Send the guy who's always in, like, the black, who I bet you is a chick. I'll bet you that's Fennec, who's uh, the chick one who fights really well. Well, you thought the little kid I was Fennec. So. Well, but... I meant, when I said that, what I meant was that one. The one that I just said. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. The one in sure. black that can fight. Well, why mm -hmm. would it be the kid? It's the one that can fight. The one that whooped his ass. Yeah. I yeah. thought that was the one that took him out into the desert. But it wasn't. Yeah. It was not. So how, where does he go? Like when he, I thought he was going like towards the train when, he, when Boba left the little village. Yeah. Uh -uh. And, but he wasn't, he went somewhere else and it looked like, was that the dude that plays Han Solo in Solo? 
No, it wasn't. It just it did look like they were trying to go for a Han Solo esque guy though, like wearing a leather jacket. Yeah, and I was like, "Who the fuck? What the hell <laughs> is happening here?" Like, I, I was, thought like, the really same confused. thing. I was like, are they going to do a Han Solo cameo, and is this it? And it was like, he doesn't look nearly enough. Like, this can't be it. And then I don't think it was. Huh. Yeah. I thought he just looked like a putz. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, that too. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's going to be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I see a bitch right there. And he did kind of act like one, too. He's like, this isn't right. This isn't right. What's happening here? And his girlfriend's like, "Oh, shush, shush, shush." And then the and then the big guy's like, "What'd you say?" And he's like, "Oh, fuck! I'm busted now. I guess I gotta say it." Tuffle down. <laughs> like, what was the plan? They're in what apparently is a space biker bar, full of bikers. It's not like there's three bikers being dicks. It's all bikers and them. Leave. This is not an establishment for you. You gotta go. I know yeah. you. You have the option to not remain. Right. Clearly, they're uncomfortable. Like, if Jeff and I, for whatever God knows reason, were in some place like that, we would be like, bye. Like, nothing good is going to come from being here. We yeah. should remove ourselves from the situation. Exactly. But so no. just, this isn't right. <laughs> okay. And he didn't even say it cool. He's like, this isn't right. What's this isn't right. Here? You guys are so mean. Stop and, it. And then he stands up and he's like, the other guy's like, what you say, bitch? And he's all like, <laughs> This isn't right. <laughs> I said it's not right. <laughs> so then they get out their like taser weapons. They uh, f- throw him against the wall. They're gonna yeah. zap him, and then in comes ba bum duka dunk duka dunk duka dunk ba bum. I always sing the Mandalorian theme song in my head, <laughs> but that's not his theme song. But I can't remember how his theme song goes. It's basically the same. No, it's like hi ya, right? Oh no, that's The Witcher. Fuck. <laughs> Anyway, I he can't comes remember. In and he gives them the beat down. He steals their bikes. He brings them back. And he's like, This is my gift to you. And then he turns around <laughs> and immediately <laughs> immediately they're taking them apart like it's a chop shop. That was so funny. Oh, like they're a bunch of Jawas. <laughs> it's like, oh, what can we use in here? Is that well, water? And then he immediately says, This is mine. <laughs> yeah, I know. He just said it was a gift. Yeah. I, like, hey, I noticed that too. And I was like, nice What the hell? It's not yours anymore. You just gave it to them. Let them take it apart if they want to. So then Mrs. Yeti pointed out that the Tusken Raiders all sound like donkeys. And now I can only hear that. <laughs> they all, and they, they do. <laughs> they do. They all sound mm-hmm. like donkeys. I never noticed that. Yeah. yeah that's that's pretty all good. I can hear. I also really loved that they formed their own sign language between each other, but their sign language doesn't seem to match up at all with what they're saying. No, it does, actually. Like, when he did I'll Return in the Morning, it was almost, uh, like, real sign language for morning. But was... then when he said train, he just, like, made his hand straight. It like yeah, a train. Like, it's like a train. Like, when you say, like, I'll teach you to write it, he put his one hand on top of the other, like it was writing the other hand. I don't know. I actually thought it was pretty cool. Mm, I was like... I'm not I'm not picking up what you're putting down. Like if I, I was I was if, like if I was deaf and couldn't read lips, like I don't know if I would know what you're saying right now. I don't I don't know, man. His hand going out with his arm was like that was the train. He's like, I'll stop the train. He put up his other hand like a brick wall and he's like, Stop train. I get it. Well, I don't, but I mean <laughs> okay. So then they have a training montage, which is pretty fun of them I like learning. The training montage. That was great. Them jumping back and forth from speeder bikes, having and a good time. eating shit. And yeah. they first get on it and go way too fast in the opposite direction. Yeah, they reverse. Funny. <laughs> yeah. They threw it in reverse for thirst. Yep. And then he shows them yep. how to use a mirror with the sun, which didn't really, wasn't really needed at all. Totally. I need then, a, I didn't get yeah. what the purpose was. Like, even once those people were up and shooting, like they shot one person, but then were they supposed to do anything else? Well, and then they just failed. Would, like signal when the train comes, but they already had seen the train long before the kids signaled that there was a train. Right. 
I know. And then when they they all like jumped up onto the dune and took aim, it's like, why not just be there laying waiting to take aim? I, I, don't I know understand. this train probably comes through the same way all the time. So mm-hmm. why do and... you need a signal and can't, like, can't you just see? Like, maybe he just needed to give the kid a task so he felt like he was included. You're helping, Timmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. They only had four speeders, so they had to find jobs for everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys helped. Congratulations. So then we see the little train conductor, like robot, and he rules. He was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> he was like moving around all quick and blasting people off of the top of the train. He's turning <laughs> dials and spinning knobs. And then when the train eventually crashes, he's like, or no, before it crashes, he's like, hey, well, goodbye. It just yeets himself out the window. <laughs> yeah, and then he crawls away like a spider. <laughs> <laughs> like, bye. I liked him. Uh, but yeah. also was weird that the droid couldn't stop the train, yet Boba Fett with his stick could. Unless the droid was just afraid of Boba Fett. Well, the droid was trying to go faster. Yeah, I took it that the droid didn't wasn't going to stop the train. And then when it looked like all hope was lost, he was like, well, I have other gigs. (laughs) I I have a family. I have kids. Oh, I thought he was bailing because he was like, there's no way to stop it. Bye. Oh, no, he bailed because he was like, I don't want to (laughs) die. Bye. Gotcha. Yeah. It's interesting that droids are programmed to be pussies. (laughs) <laughs> isn't it like c3po is such a bitch <laughs> totally i know well why did anakin program him that way you know yeah or what like the fuck anakin you would think droids would be a bit more fearless you'd think uh, r2d2 and bb8 are pretty fearless yeah same yeah. with k2so k2so is pretty cool it's like they have a fear of dying, which is yeah. interesting. It's like, well, I mean, you could kind of like as long as your hard drive and like computer processing are still there, like we can put you back together. <laughs> like the time that C3PO got his memory wiped and then they just rebooted him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. He's like, I'm just saying goodbye to all my friends. It's like all these people he's only met for two days. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. much. All right. Um, and then uh, we skipped a part where Boba oh. gets in a fist fight on top of the train and then falls and... off but catches himself on a random wing on yeah. the train. What the fuck was up with the wing? Uh, in case you need to fly the train or... Hmm. It seemed like it was part of the whole like engine like part of the train. So it's something that I'm guessing it's something needed for some sort of engineering reason. What? I don't know. <laughs> so the, the hover train. Yeah. yeah. The hover train, I'm sure, needed that fin for its structural integrity. Yeah. And the other aerodynamics. Thing that I hated. So all these Tuscan Raiders, they have, like, you know, goggles and masks and stuff. So they're, like, protected from wind and sand, you know, things that make sense for being out in the desert. And then Boba Fett is just riding up on a speeder going incredibly fast. No goggles, no face covering. He's clearly totally fine. It's like bullshit. Your eyes would be watering like crazy. You would not be able to see. Well, have you ever like been snowboarding when it snows and it like burns the shit out of your face as you're going down the mountain? Like, yeah, yeah. Like that's how I imagine it only way hotter and way more painful having it be sand instead of snow. Kelsey, have you been snowboarding when it's snowing so much it burns your face? Yes, this has been a long time. <laughs> you fucking ask us if we've ever I done know. that, and we've done it within the week. I know. <laughs> but the time you did it. <laughs> 2003. <laughs> she gets all upset when I call her out for not snowboarding. And it's just like, it's so, uh, what defense do you have against when's, like, Kelsey, when's the last time you snowboarded? I don't, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. <laughs> do you have any of the gear to do it? Not anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when but did yeah. you, wait, 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 wait. When did you get rid of the gear? Um, like two years ago? Two or Since three years ago. Emma has been born. Have you been snowboarding? Mm-mm. And she's 12. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, when I'm like, Kelsey, you're not a snowboarder. You're like, what the fuck? Yes, I am. <laughs> you have a contract on a house in Texas. I think your snow dreams are done. Yeah. Well, they are. nope, nope. Now she's just going to be that Texan that comes to Breckenridge. No, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, <laughs> wearing your denim. Fuck no. yeah. It's a bad nope. time, dude. <laughs> not happening. Wearing a fur jacket as you go snowboarding. That'll be so cool. So we're off topic. We should get back to <laughs> the okay. only note I have left is, uh, well, we're, mm, Mrs. Yeti, you go first. I think I know your next one. Um, well, so then they crash the train and they have the guys and they're like, aha, uh-huh, you can't cross through these lands. And then they crack open that water tank and they're all like, rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> Well, and the other thing, too, was, like, they, so Boba asked them if they're transporting spice. And I was, like, how many things are the you going to spice? <laughs> I know. Like, I it, thought the same thing. No. The spice. Han Solo smuggled spice, so that's been a thing. Oh, and so did Poe. That's po. right. Okay. All right. Still, the spice. But, yeah, dude. But, like, yeah, no. Because Dune think, came out as still, a book forever ago. Yeah. So, yeah. I think the book Dune was still maybe before Star Wars. I'm pretty sure it was. The Spice. And why would it... So he was like, your answer to my next question will determine if you live or die. And he was like, are you transporting Spice? And the guy was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. And he's like, "Uh, well, the Spice looks an, an awful lot like that right over there. Right. And But then he like lets them live. And I'm like, so why was his answer to that question important important like why yeah. is, whether they were transporting spice or not like were you really gonna kill him if they said no or yes like because lest we forget boba fett is a bad guy he's a bad guy right so he, i think the, he's just like an anti-hero i don't really think he's a bad guy no he's a bad guy he freezes people in carbonite and gives them over to space slugs he's a dick and so if that guy was lying to him, he should have shot that one and been like, who's next in command? And then started Han questioning Solo, that guy. Han Solo did the same thing, and so did the Mandalorian. Han Solo did the same thing to who? Oh, no, he didn't. I Just kidding. He was a smuggler. Sorry, just kidding. Right. <laughs> just ignore that I just said that. But the Mandalorian did the same thing, and he's The Mandalorian is also kind of a bad guy. No, I just think they're anti-heroes. They're not... They're not heroes, but they're not bad. Okay, cool. The they're next time like, people dude. are like, yo, Yef, you're a dick, then it'll be like, no, 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 I'm just an anti-hero. <laughs> yeah. Go with that. Perfect. You might, you might have more friends <laughs> if you do that. Oh, hold on a second. I have exactly as many friends as you do, because you meet all your friends through me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> But I'm not a dick, and I don't run them off. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's not true. You've been responsible for many a running off. You're usually the catalyst, but then I take the heat because I'm louder than you. Yeah. <laughs> Probably true. Uh, all right. So then it's time to trip some balls with a lizard. Yep. <laughs> yeah. What did you think of the lizard going up his nose? Ugh. Yeah. 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 Uh, it reminded me too much of uh, Star Trek and the fucking ear wig things in Wrath of Khan, the original Wrath of Khan. Ugh. That thing traumatized me as a, as a small, small child. Or remember the mummy, those little beetles that would oh, go inside your those. skin uh-uh. and crawl no, around? No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We should move on because this. <laughs> So Mrs. Yeti Uh pointed out, wait a minute. So uh, it seems to be a tradition that they trip some balls. Go get their uh, stick. Go get their stick and then bring it back and carve it. But how does the lizard get up their nose? On the real Tuscan Raiders. Like how? They're underneath our sheet. They've got a little mask. Maybe they take their masks off for that. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I've never maybe seen them goes, do it. Oh, you know how they have those holes, those like spike thing holes coming out of their head? Yeah. Maybe the lizard travels through there. Maybe because you did mention after the first episode that maybe they were vents. 
Yeah, like maybe that's how they breathe. And they're, it's their lizard. They, hole. they get covered in sand and they go. <laughs> yeah, and their straw. And I was wondering too, was it the lizard or the spice that he like flicked at his face that made him trip balls? I think the spice that he flicked in his face made the lizard jump up his nose. Yeah. So I think it's the lizard. Because they said it was the lizard. Oh, okay. But do we know that? Yeah, because he was like, the lizard will guide you from the inside. I know. So, yeah. <laughs> it makes no sense. I don't know. I mean, it was fine. But yeah, and- what it doesn't make sense that you're right because they never reveal their faces. So, how's that lizard going up their nose? Yeah. And did you think it was weird too that if the lizard was guiding him, it was only showing him images of the past? What? Yeah. He was. Yeah. You're right. Hmm. Because it was like showing him in the intestine of the sandworm and it was showing him as a little kid and it was showing Slave One and it was showing like. Yep. It's not called Slave One anymore. Oh. That name is problematic. I I spit fire. Boba Fett's ship. Yeah. Boba's (laughs) ship. Boba's ship. No, his dad's ship. (laughs) Well, so it was like showing everything in the past and then he like breaks off a branch from this imaginary tree and then he comes out of his high and he actually has a branch yeah i think he actually walked somewhere i think the lizard like took control of his brain like a puppet and made him move over to this tree and then he just tripped balls while he walked which Damn, like Kelsey, you do not follow that type of shit at all, do you? <laughs> no. It was confusing when you when you and I were watching it, and he comes walking back. We were like, "Oh, he's not in the tent." Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah. He actually was outside. So I guess for everybody in the tent that evening, he got the lizard up his nose, and then he was like, "What?" <laughs> and he just like zipped, <laughs> zipped into the desert. And they were like, hey, "Either he'll die or he'll come back." <laughs> Yeah, I didn't really think about the lizard, like, guiding him like a puppet. I thought of it, like, guiding him through this trippy journey he's on, like, psychologically. I also thought it was a trippy journey, but then he returned with an actual stick, which led me to believe that, oh, no, he actually went someplace. I think it was both. I think it was a physical journey and a trippy journey. He just was tripping balls while he was on his physical journey. (laughs) Like if you did shrooms and hiked a hill. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, good point. I mean, I never have done shrooms, so I have no idea what it's like. Yeah, right, Kelsey. We know what you do over by the dirt hill. No, I only (laughs) did marijuana. I never did shrooms. I only did marijuana. Yeah. That's all I did. So then he carves himself his stick, which I thought was cool that they added the detail of him making it and being shown how to make it. Although, if I would have taken an eternity. (laughs) Yeah, no shit. If I were him, though, I would have wanted, like, a practice stick and then the real yeah. stick. Because I'm probably going to fuck up a couple of times. So I'd like to get some my of my yips out on the practice stick. Instead of they just show him the motion <clears throat> once and then he's like, okay. And he oh, looks well. over his shoulder and then he just nods and he's like, oh, I get it. And then my last note is I will guarantee you that at Disney World and land this summer, you'll be able to make your own fucking stick. Oh, probably. And I want one. Now, Cody, I don't want a lightsaber, but I'll take a stick. Well, I have another note. Oh. About how they dress him up in those black robes. Yeah. <laughs> and those were the robes that he was wearing when he met the Mandalorian, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. And he it? had his stick. Yeah, and he had yeah. his little stick. Um, so I was wondering, so those were the the robes he was wearing and he had the stick Mm -hmm. but he got to the tuscan raiders after he fell into the sandworm so how much time was he actually spending with the tuscan raiders um so return of the mrs eddie your mic's rubbing sorry so (laughs) return of the jedi happens right he falls in the starlight pit apparently he gets out of the starlight pit and he's hanging out with the tuscan raiders they dress him up in black some point after he gets dressed up in his black robes he meets up with mando and then after his run-in with mando is when he goes back to become prince of jabba the hutt's castle right 
So between the Return of the Jedi and the Mandalorian, how much time was there supposed to be between those two? Not a lot, because they talk about in Mandalorian a bunch of how the Empire has just fallen. Okay. And all that kind of stuff. So I don't I don't think they've given an exact date, but it's like, you know, just a little bit ago. A couple of years, maybe. Okay, because I was like, this could help explain, like, how long he actually spent with the Tusken Raiders learning how to fight. <laughs> I know, <Because> right? <laughs> He's a like... badass bounty hunter, but he has to be taught how to fight. Like, I'm pretty sure yeah. he already knows, but okay, sure. He yeah. has to be... He has to learn how to fight without gadgets. Yeah, I think maybe that was the point, is now he knows how to do more hand-to-hand -hand combat and not rely on his, his flamethrower. Like, the tools are cool. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why he's not using his, like, jetpack when he was surrounded by the guys with the oh, shields. No. no. I Bullshit. Think that, <laughs> I think that they just were like, yeah. He my was, hip. My, my <laughs> hip. <laughs> He's he's stuck. Well, why doesn't he use his jetpack? Uh, he forgot. Yeah, yeah. You know how you forget. He forgot. When and they it... were addressing him, I was like, "Oh, he did really like that. Like he is very in shape for an an elder gentleman." A geriatric oh, fuck. What the fuck is wrong with his left ear? Is that something that's wrong with the actor's left ear or something? It must be. We'll have to Google his name and see what comes up. Mm, okay. And how did he automatically know the little fire dance they were doing at the end? Like the initiation dance? I'm going to assume that there was a scene that maybe got cut where he practiced all day and all night <laughs> with a couple of friends. <laughs> and they all learned choreography together. Yeah. That being said, it wasn't too complex. It was basically like poke, poke up, poke, poke down, walk, 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 poke, poke up, <laughs> poke, poke down. Yeah, you got it. It wasn't too intense. <laughs> His, the actor's ear is fine in real life. There you go. Oh. So it's just messed his up. His character. Cody probably knows what happened to his ear. <laughs> probably. Dude, Cody, I think, is a little uh, salty that he's not on these reviews. <laughs> yeah, I think so. He's been a little quiet all this evening, if you haven't noticed. Oh. Mm -hmm. Cody. Don't be salty, dude. I just feel like you might be kind of an asshole if you were on these reviews. I'm just saying. Everything yeah. that we say, you'd be like, ah, well, ah, nah, but, and I mean, don't get me wrong, dude. You got a point. We don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> but that's <really> funny. <laughs> like, you are right, but also, that's less fun. This was, yeah. It makes us stand out, you know? Exactly. It's, it's our shtick. Uh, there's plenty of Star Wars nerds that are geeking out and, like, giving you in-depth reviews. Not us, dude. Kelsey didn't even know how the Rhinecor died. And I don't even know if I'm saying Rhinecor right. It's like Rhinecor, Raincore. It's one of those. And then I also accidentally thought Han Solo was um a, a bounty hunter for a second and then <laughs> retracted and realized he was a smuggler. So Hey, you got there. So yeah. you thought the guy who got frozen in carbonite had frozen someone in carbonite. Yeah. I had yeah. To, I had to fix myself <laughs> and yeah feel free to brush up on any of these movies in between reviews I know, right? <laughs> oh, God. sorry sorry everybody Just feel free all right any any notes or anything you want to add oh that was still just I had. don't understand what's going on <laughs> like like why like why does he want to be a daimyr, which like daimyr is the phrase that's used to call like a Japanese leader in like the olden, olden, olden days of like a region. Really? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because there was this book I was listening to called Shogun. And Cody would probably know, but <laughs> he's not here. Hmm. Hmm. Kelsey, I like how that's your input a lot on these reviews. You just go, <laughs> <Yeah>. hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, I appreciate you saying something. Oh, yeah. That's my thinking noise. Oh. Well, because like on on the closed captioning, which for some reason I have that on on Disney Plus. Really? Yeah. It drives me nuts. But on Turn it off. I, I will. But like the closed captioning spelled it D-A-I-M-Y-O. Dynamo. A daimyo. D D D A I. 
D A I M Y O. Yeah, Daimyo. Uh, in feudal Japan, one of the great lords who were vassals of the shogun. Yeah, and the shogun like controlled all of the different daimyos, daimyos, whatever. So they're like so, mayors, and he's a governor. It's like it's like the king and his lords, and the daimyo is a lord. Gotcha. Interesting. And so but like the mayor is underneath him. So if Java the Hut was like daimyo of Tatooine, and then there's other huts, does that mean there was like a hut in charge of Java the Hut? Maybe. How high does this hierarchy go? Well, and and maybe, maybe that's, that's the whole the... family shit. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> like maybe that's why the mayor said that about the family stuff. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, see? Hmm. We got hmm. questions. We just need answers. <laughs> yep. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, so many more questions. So few answers. And we're two episodes in, and I think there's only six or eight episodes. One of those two. It's, it's pretty short. Well, they only have a few left to start answering some of these. <laughs> yep. Well, we have reached our conclusion. <laughs> Later, <Yeah>. boners. <laughs> Later, Later, boners. boners. <laughs>